how you doing? Today's video I'm joining two different concepts, the team project pen situation that I'm doing. I barely, I haven't used them, the product, so I said why not? I will be doing my whole face, so why not using the project pen items? So uh, I already put a little bit more, a little bit of these. This is a foundation mix of um, every single time that I wear foundation and it's left on the on the plate or where I have it I just put some in here and I already have something mixed from different foundations just for filming and yeah and I will mix this brush pen like brush pen applying items not Telling you what is uh, over or what is that it will be another video. This is the applying brush and pan uh, makeup, and my it was not a real haul. It was more than my birthday gift. Today is my birthday, and yesterday I went to a drugstore and I bought uh, three items. I was there for two only. And actually, I didn't get one of the stuff because when I arrived the the place, come on, there were so many new stuff that well, not so many new, but there were new stuff that they were not marketing the, the marketing um, um, area or department of these companies were not kind of telling you that they are new. So there was not anything on the website. Come on, and they are new. So I said, okay, I will buy them. So the first thing that I will show you is the thing that I will apply the last, and is this lipstick, this the Les, Les Chocolat, or Les Chocolat, uh, Ultimate Liquid Lipstick in the shade um, 848, 848, and the Dose of Cocoa. And I have, I will just, tell you what I'm just um, this is another another lipstick I have these swatches from 1230 afternoon so 1230 p.m. and now is 6 a.m. I woke up early today but in a couple of hours I will be taking a couple of a snap of, of a nap not a snap no <laughs> I want to and I got there's some that rub off a little bit, but come on, let's be honest. 18 hours later on, it will be, it's okay. And I'm in love with this red. And I bought this shade, and I was um, about to get this shade that is Candyman. And this one is Dose of Cocoa. And this one is called, um, how is it? Tough, um, Tasty Ruby. Uh, and those, these two, this one here, I'm just looking at the, at the like, a, and so I can point it right. This one here is the one that I have right here. I made a comparison to the Maybelline uh, that I used, the Loyalist, and it's the same shade <laughs> or similar shade. Uh, and I was trying this, this one up here from uh, of Candyman is uh, a lipstick that is being discontinued by Maybelline and it's a, a long lasting so I was comparing them and this is a little bit more pinky and lighter than the one that I have so it's good because I go with that pink vibe for some looks but come on I think that I'm destined to have a shade like this because these two loyalist and those of Coco are pretty much identical. I will do a I think that I will do an Instagram uh, half and half or a video half and half so you can see but that's later on um, and another day. I, I, I want to wait until I heal this thing. Every single time that I smile is cracking and open it again. I have no idea what it is. And what I'm going to do with my eyes is using the this eyeshadow palette that is the Wow 
the World War Edition, and the Maybelline Soda Pop. This one, I saw that is the one that I want to buy, and I want to buy the one that is called Nude, or Nude. Uh, depends on the pronunciation. <laughs> Sometimes I a little bit weird with the pronunciation. So, and when I went there and, and get into a store, I saw this display and I was kind of, oh, I want that. <coughs> I thought this one was the first one that they launched in the United States, but that was the lemon craze. I wanted to have that one too, so why not? Um, so I will be putting these two and when it's done the eye look I will just pause the video luckily and I will apply the rest of the face sometimes I hit the wrong button and sometimes when I press uh, pause for some reason leaves the the application the, the app and I need to restart applying everything again so that's kind of weird I will be just put in a little bit of which shade I want mm, because this one is all metallic and these two at the end are with matte base but this one has shimmers piece of glitter in it and this one has kind of get in there I think that I will go with ginger ale with this brush it has it's so similar to to uh, a, a brand that that is um, I think it's a white brand it, or the one the white um, I don't remember how it calls is when a brand does more stuff and sell it without any sort of name so uh, I think it's this one feels like I, I, I don't have any of the brand but Real Techniques brushes and I have a couple of them but they look like the um, the other brand that that is related with uh, Real Techniques that is um, why I don't remember the name I was thinking of that um, I will remember soon, don't worry. I was thinking that just recently. Um, I said, I, I might think that uh, Eco Tools, there, there you have it. Um, I was thinking of maybe I should, one day I will pass by because it's not near the places I go, it's kind of having a detour, but I need to go near a place for something, so probably I will be um yeah passing by and getting to a drugstore so i can see the new stuff um, because real techniques is sold in a certain place it's not every single drugstore it's one in particular like saying if you're from the uh, united states it's like saying i went to ulta or i went only to cds or i went to target and i have them in that place um, I will link down below a website uh, of that place now I I will be just pressing this in the other, other part of my um, eye is the other matte that it has I thought this one has a little bit of shimmer but this is matte matte these three here are matte and these two are mad. So, yeah, I kind of what which one was. So I will be applying this. This um, I just put ginger ale on the crease, and I will now apply in the actual crease. This is a transition. This is in the actual crease because I want to play with the palette. I have no idea what it's going to be, but I want to play a little bit. So I know that they have real pigmentation because i already done this is not like a first impression because yesterday i made a video with this 
and I use this one right here in the uh, outer part. These brushes, I put them in the brochet pan because they're kind of not nice applying makeup. I love, I just bought it because of the shade. Um, this, um, the, it's a green um, tur turquoise or dark teal or whatever almost green and it was not applying the the eyeshadows well so that's why I, I kept them for the brochet pan and I will be using the brochet pan items only so this could not be like ideal so this one is not <laughs> this one is not so maybe I will do with the rotted eye with my normal uh, brushes this will be a kind of a long video for so far. No, I just just put you in there. Well, I can use this thing. Um, this is the brush that it comes in every single of these eyeshadow palettes, and I have another one that came in another eyeshadow palette, and they're very good. So don't toss them. They're very, very, very nice. Um, And now I will apply with this brush the other eye so you can see a good eyeshadow brush how it works. This one is blending the eyeshadow a little bit better. I feel it is scratchy that's why I was kind of struggling. And yeah, let's see with just one swipe I have it and how it, it grabs the product is kind of mm -mm. Uh, so I don't recommend that brush unless that you're making a detail work but it's kind of scratchy as well so yeah I would put it again and yeah so that's cherry on top and now I will open the other eyeshadow palette and I will play let me just making it even because why not um, well before that I will with this one I will apply root beer that is a dot oh my god it's pigmented and put it in the outer third of the lid just to deepen it a little bit This one is not good either. And I will take the same brush and root beard again. And this side, as you can see, it's much better application. So don't toss this, these um, brushes. And now I will go to the other. I'm just playing. I have no idea what I'm go what I'm doing. I just uh, selecting a shade, and that's it. I think that I'm. I want to do because this shade here is so beautiful, and I don't. I don't know. Uh, I think that I will go with the purple this is a beautiful shade I will put it with my fingers there is nothing there and it's beautiful it's kind of a duochrome thing and I will apply this it's a little bit sheer at first but I think that you can make it you can build this up until the shade you want, pack it on. Probably if you have a, you do a cut crease, it will be much better than just simply put them like this. Even if I haven't said what I just put on my eyes, but it's already dry, it's not, and it was not the, 
the eyeshadow base that I always use. I use that um, combination of, of things. I use this thing for my eyes. So what I'm going to do now is I will, with this red, the rest of this, I will just uh, try to make sure that no harsh lines and oh my god 15 minutes and it's only the eyes so what I'm going to do is well I will apply my face I will set it and I will tell you what I used but I use uh, brush and pan items so I cannot be 20 minutes long but I think it will be so let me cross fingers that I press the right button well, I will be applying, I just uh, set my face with this. I'm just taking this sort of bronzer and I will kind of slightly, slightly bit, like in the forehead. I will try to rush it. Because of the sake of the video. I would use the contour, this, this component. I think it was a little bit too much. Now I'm going to just make it even. I'll apply the blush. I have powder here and it would be a mistake grabbing the highlighter with my fingers and I will apply um, with my fingers right there So you can see that I'm using the products that I'm telling you that I'm using. Probably it will be more than 20 minutes long. Maybe a little bit more here and bridge of the nose and a little bit here. I will be completing my lower lash line and I will be using this beautiful blue shade. So I will be grabbing again this one and I will be just pressing this a little bit it does not have any kind of fall out so it's okay you know I will be completing my eyes. Oh, I've forgotten to put a little bit, a tiny bit. This, this eye never matches. This part, this under part here. I'm kind of a mess, okay? So I will be putting mascara and uh, I will just set my face a little bit. Yeah, probably I will do that. Wish me luck again. 
Okay, well, I just tried this shade here. So I will show you. I used the last part of this applicator, the sponge part, like this. And I just pressed this this white is weird because it's kind of iridescent it has it's, it's not a, a white it's a clear base with some shimmers that I that they have green blue and purple tones to them so this is kind of an a good um, eyeshadow topper or maybe I will I will put this with my normal uh, highlighter brush so you can see in the cheeks so this one is great as a highlighter as well so I will pick this up this white ish I will coat the brush and I want you to see, I will try to make sure that you see this, that it's kind of um, not showing so much, but that is, it has that wet effect to, to the cheeks, but it's not quite there. You, you cannot see the base. Now that I have this in the brush, I will just apply this. It's kind of shimmer. That uh, sort of shimmer that it won't show um, like white. So keep that in mind. So maybe you will be like, oh my god, I, I wanted a, a, a white fun a what, foundation. A, a white uh, eyeshadow and you end up like being disappointed. Because it's not. So now the last thing, I just used a little bit of this on the brows and uh, what else? And this mascara and a little bit of this on the, on the waterline. And now the time of the lipstick. So this is dose of cocoa. It smells like cocoa. So. I have some dry patches on my lips. I like the applicator. So I haven't tested if it tastes like as uh, chocolate, but I'm telling you that. It smells beautifully and I have a, pl a, a chocolate a factory near my home and you know exactly when they do in some chocolate because your house smells like chocolate so I have that vibe with them mm. I always forget to check my teeth I'm so sorry but well this is the whole look and I don't know what you think comment down below if you like it I was not making precision of the foundation and anything because I will wash it in a couple of hours so but comment down below what you think of these products and well I hope to see you in the next video bye bye